Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have something new from the company Roborock. Roborock is announcing at CES 2022 several new products and this is one of them. Uh, something a little bit new from the company Roborock. This is a uh, Roborock Dyad, spelled D-Y-A-D, and it is a wet, dry uh, vacuum mop. And uh, you can mop your floors with it and you can vacuum. I've re reviewed something very similar from the company Dreamy Tech, the Dreamy H11 Max. I'll leave a link down below for that. And this uh, proves to improve on some of the flaws with the Dreamy Tech model. We'll go ahead and get into the unboxing now and give you a first look at this. I'll be putting this through several tests in my house and I'll come back with a full review in a few weeks. Uh, so make sure you go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned for that. For now, let's go ahead and get into unboxing. Okay, unboxing the Roborack Diet. Now this is a self-cleaning vacuum mop and this is the base station for it. And this is what you will put the Roborock Dyad on in order to self-clean. We have the user manual included. Now this is a pre-production model. Roborock is not releasing this for sale in the U.S. until February of 2022, where it will be for sale on Amazon. Uh, so this pre-production model might be a little bit different than what you're used to seeing in February. Uh, looking at the manual, Assembly instructions looks like it goes together just like the Dreamy H11 Max where the handle just snaps in. And here we have the charger for the Roborock Dyad. So here we have the handle uh, that will snap into the unit itself. It looks like there is, that would be the cleaning button right there. And we have uh, a power button and it looks like a mode button right here. And this looks like it is part of the dock right here. This is the charging contacts, as you see here, that the dyad will sit on to charge. So I assume this goes together on the dock. And here's the dock. And here's that piece that I just took off. It just slips right on here. It snaps together just like that. Extra filter is included. Uh, they include a cleaning brush uh, with a little tool here on the end for cutting hair off of the roller brushes. And here we are with the main unit. This is the dyad. Let's take a look at the underside because here is the big information. The, th the big news on the bottom of here are your three roller brushes. And as you can see here, we have the side to side edge cleaning, which is on both sides. It's the first I've seen it from a manufacturer on both sides where you have total wall-to-wall -wall cleaning on the edge. That was a problem with the Dreamy H11 Max. So it did not have edge cleaning. Now this is powered by two motors. The two motors, uh, one powers this front roller brush and another powers these back two roller brushes here. Uh, the unit itself has a 260 watt motor that powers the suction of the uh, dyad. Let's go ahead real quickly and assemble this. Now this should be just as simple as putting the handle here into the base unit, pushing down on it. And that's it. We got the handle clicked in now. And we are ready to charge. Now let's take a look at these water tanks real quick. Okay, so here we are with the Roborack Dyad uh, out of the box. Uh, and one of the first things that I noticed was that this thing does not stand up on its own. Now, obviously it will stand up if you put it on the dock and we'll do that here in a minute. Uh, but it comes with this little stand here on the back that folds out from the back of the unit and allows it to stand up like that. So it does not stand up on its own. Let me show you what I mean here. I'm standing it up, there's no click, and it just wants to fall over. Uh, so that is something that is a little bit different, and if you want to stop using this thing, you're going to have to put out the stand on the back in order to do so. Okay, looking at the water tanks now, here on the very top, you push this button and pull away. Uh, this is the clean water tank. The clean water tank uh, is 850 milliliters in size. 
looking for the fill port. It is on the bottom here. Let's see if I can get this open one-handed. And there is your fill port. So it fills upside down. And you just push that to close it. And it gives you a little instructions here on how to pop it back in. Looks like you put the bottom in first, and then you just snap it in place. Here is your LCD screen. We'll turn that on and take a look at it when we do some full testing. I gotta charge this thing up first. And down here is your dirty water tank, which Roborock claims is 620 milliliters. So clean water, 850, this one's 620. Uh, there is the filter on top. Again, they include a spare filter with the unit. No spare brushes, just a spare filter. Uh, so to get this dirty water tank emptied, looks like it just comes apart like that. And looks like it has a trap basket. Now that's something that's a little bit unique from what I saw with the Dreamy. Looks like there is a trap filter basket to hold the contents of stuff that you may suck up that's not water. And there is your flotation device that will tell it when it is full and tell you to go ahead and empty the dirty water basket. So it looks like it's not necessary to remove the filter every time, but you may want to remove it just to wash it. Uh, these filters are washable. The reason they include two is you want to wash this and set it aside to dry and put the dry one in if you're going to use it right away. Make sure you, when you wash this, you allow this to dry before putting it back into the vacuum itself. Uh, so putting this back in, I think that's right, right there. And here is your water tank. Looks like it's pretty easy to clean out. It is a gray, kind of bluish gray, transparent color. And this top looks like it just fits in just like that. That is pretty easy to remove. Um, the one on the Dreamy H11 is a little bit more difficult to remove. I like this design a lot better. Uh, looks like it removes with ease. It just fell out, and that's, that's good. The other one you have to kind of grip and pull out. Uh, so that is the dirty water tank. Looking down here at the brush rollers now, looks like there is a quick release remove here on the front lid. And then for removing this, I don't know if I can do this on the dock. I may have to take it off. One second. All right, so I've got the front lid off, which is here. We're going to go ahead and remove the roller brushes. To do that, you just pull on this tab, kind of like with the Dreamy, and remove this front one right here. Now on the bottom ones, let's see how you remove those. I haven't read the instructions, so I'm not sure. It looks like from the side here, maybe. You can turn it. Yeah, they just spin out. That's pretty neat. I like that. So these are the two back roller brushes, and they just kind of spin in and spin out. Putting the roller brush in the front main one back in. It looks like it's fairly simple as well. Just push that back in, push the tab in. Now there are two tabs there at the bottom. You start at the bottom and fold it in until it clicks, and pretty easy to put back together. And the dock there, along with the charger manual. We'll go ahead and get this thing charged up, and I'm going to be putting it through a series of tests in my house. I appreciate you viewing this. If you have any questions about this, go ahead and drop this down below. Like I said, it's gonna be a few months before you're going to be able to buy this in the USA. It will be available on Amazon. The MSRP for it is going to be $449. Usually they give you a low discount when they first launch it. We'll see. Uh, we'll go ahead and have it Fully tested before the launch though, so you can check back here if you're not already subscribed. And uh, we'll give you the full details on the Roborock Dyad. We'll let you know how it fares up against the Dreamy Tech H11 Max. We'll compare it, obviously with the edge to edge cleaning. I'm excited to see how well it does that. I'm excited to see how well it does with the base as well. All right, appreciate you watching this. Take it easy everyone, bye bye.